The Madman of Manchester does it again. Always Was and Always Shall Be is the first album by this dynamic performer and his band, The Jabbers. This one-of-a-kind LP contains hits like Automatic and Don't Talk to Me. Allen has steamed up controversy throughout the United States and Canada with his notorious acts and energetic, raunchy, killer rock. This February, G.G. Allen kicks off another tour. He'll be playing Detroit, New York State, New York City, Boston, Maine, and New Hampshire. G.G. Allen is powerful, and this LP on Orange Records is for those who can take it raw. Available at all local music stores in New Hampshire and Boston or through Bomp Records. For more information, call G.G. himself at 603-669-8983. Find out why everyone is talking about G.G. Allen and the Jabbers. Represented exclusively by Genya Raven. that time, well, the Jabbers were actually started out, we were writing songs in my basement, me and my brother was the original bass player, then he quit, moved to Boston to join City Thrills, I moved to Manchester after I got married. Jabbers, we were together for about four or five years, um, played all, played all over the place, we played uh, New York, Boston, uh, put out the first album, I was, was, isn't always, shall be, uh, it was kind of a, it was sort of a weird band. We sort of not really anybody in the band ever got along. We just all liked the same kind of music. Uh, we were like the first punk rock band in New Hampshire, and we didn't really care what people thought. We we were basically just starting the band, not with any intention of going anywhere with it. We just wanted to play every club in town that we hated, just so we could get thrown out. But before we got thrown out, it's to piss a lot of people off. Go in and knock tables over. Go in and smash some girl in the face, or you know, get into as many fights as we could, or disgust people, or just do the most obnoxious things we could and get thrown out. We didn't care because we hated the town, we hated everything in it. 
that point, we got a police record. None of the clubs would book us. We got a letter from the liquor commission saying I was an enemy of the state. Um, after that, we broke up uh, due to lack of money. Uh, clubs throwing us out, not paying us because we played too loud. We wouldn't turn down. Um, we played stuff that people didn't like. Uh, we were just a pretty ahead of our time sort of band. Uh, not one of the most popular bands, but we thought we were good. 1980s rock and roll.